One of the big problems we're seeing right now is with trains. Right now, two metro lines, MD North and MD West, are back on the move. They were halted because of switch problems. Now, the cold caused other problems for lots of people trying to get around today. Here's NBC5's Christian Farr. I'm about to head back home because it's too cold to be outside right now. Today's frigid temperatures had a big impact on those just trying to navigate around the Chicago area. We just sat in the gate for about eight hours and then they finally told us that our plane was canceled. Travelers at O'Hare had issues with some severe flight delays, but other airports across the country also had problems, including Dallas, which had a ground stop this morning. I don't know what happened here today. The, the, bus, the bus stopped working. Oh, the bus stopped working? I had the bus, the train. CTA also had issues at about 6.30 this morning when the Orange Line had a derailment near 35th and Archer, forcing 20 passengers to exit the train to get on a shuttle bus. CTA rider Becca Sarabia says it is important to be prepared for today's cold weather. It's a little doozy. You just got to make sure you layer up. You know, I got a mask, a hat, gloves, two sweaters, two joggers. You got to be prepared. As a result of that derailment this morning, the CTA had to offer free shuttle service for riders on the Orange Line. My train came in three hours late because the switches were frozen. Not only did Amtrak deal with frozen switch problems this morning, but so did Metra. Metra's BNSF line was stopped for nearly an hour because of the cold weather. We have a staff working overtime. We are all uh, following the current um, weather reports uh, so we can try to stay on top of the problem. And if anything else happened, we have the crew on hand that can go and fix the problems and try to minimize any delays. In McKinley Park, Christian Farr, NBC5 News.